everyone, I'm Tanaz from Forever Conscious and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of February 25th. So, coming up this week, we are shifting into the number 3 vibration and this happens as we move into the month of March. Being the third month of the year, March energy, or the number 3 energy, is all about communication, aligning with your truth, and connecting mind, body, and spirit. The three elements of who we are, our mind, our body, and our spirit. And this month, these are all going to be focuses that we'll be working with. And what better way to be introduced to all of this than with the Virgo full moon that falls on March 1st or 2nd, depending where you live. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite full moons of the year, or favorite full moons that I've looked and really tapped into so far this year. It has a beautiful energy. It falls in the sign of Virgo at 11 degrees. You might have heard me say, or you might already know that 11 is a master number. It's a number of awakenings. It's associated with higher consciousness. And when we have a full moon, it happens when the sun and the moon are opposite each other in different you know, ends of the sky. And so the sun is at 11 degrees Pisces and the moon is at 11 degrees Virgo, giving us the Virgo full moon. And it is beautiful. This 11 energy will just be opening up realms of higher consciousness for all of us to enjoy. So what does this mean? When I was tapping into the energy of this full moon, it kind of felt like full moons always pull stuff out of us. There's always this sort of pulling um, energy that comes with a full moon. But with this full moon, it was like a guiding energy. It's like we're being pulled to where we need to be. I know we've done a lot of releasing work with the recent eclipses. This energy felt a little bit less about releasing and more about being guided. More about like the moon pulling us to where we need to be, pulling us to focus our attention. If we've been looking here, the full moon will move us to look over this way. You know, it's helping us to know where we need to focus our attention. So if there are things that um, have been a bit foggy or unclear in your life or you've been feeling kind of rattled, this full moon is going to help you like to go, okay, this is where you need to be. So be open, stay open and see where this full moon guides you to no pay attention to. Because this full moon falls in Virgo, Virgo is very much, a, um, I always find Virgo energy very centered on the physical. It's got this very physical energy. It kind of rules over the digestive system. It rules over the sort of um, health and realms of healing. So paying attention to your physical body is really important. But on an emotional, spiritual level, if we think about the digestive system, you know, all the time we're, we're taking in ideas, we're taking in events, and we're digesting them, we're processing them, and we're releasing them. The digestive system is kind of a great metaphor for life. So this full moon will also encourage you to think about what you were not digesting, what you were not absorbing, what you were resisting, and what you're not releasing in your life on an emotional, um, out, outer level, and on an inner level too, but on an outer level. So... Think about what recent events have happened in your life that you're having a hard time digesting or processing. What things are you holding onto that you're not releasing? What um, things are you putting into your body or putting into your life that are not nourishing you, that are not serving you, that are creating stagnation or um, feelings of sickness, you know, on an energetic level. And these are all things that we'll be encouraged to also think about on this full moon. Scheduling a checkup, going to see an energy healer, doing things that nourish you inside and on the outside are all really great ways to also tune into this energy. So I would say for the week ahead, as we shift into this wonderful March energy, stay open. I know I'm telling you what kind of things you can expect, but the most powerful thing you can do is stay open and see what resonates or flies in for you. That is way more powerful. So this is some of the things you can expect. This is some of the things you can prepare yourself for or stay open to, but also stay open to your own life, to your own intuition and to your own feelings around the full moon and acknowledge that for yourself. 
So I hope this was helpful. I really, really love this full moon and I think you will too. Um, again, stay open and you know everyone's experience will be different, but I really feel like this full moon has a wonderful energy for guiding us and helping us to navigate where we need to be. All right, so enjoy that. I am Tanaz from Forever Conscious. Thank you so much.